narrowest point. That lever. They widen out? That lever over there on your side. You said that really? No shit. So you can get in and out of fences and then get, get more weight. Dude, I like this thing. This thing, it's, and you know what? Another thing is like the other ones that they don't even do the track thing. No, we're the only ones that do. It's made by Boxer. It's made by Morbar. So brand is Boxer. The Boxer brand has actually been around a long, long time if you go back. Uh, they were one of the first mini skid steers before everything kind of went crazy. Morbark has owned the brand since 2012. Really? So you guys were the first people to make this, actually. Boxer was. Nice. Long before more bar bones. This one? Dingo? This is a boxer. And no, it's not Dingo. That's Toro. Yeah, Toro. This is a boxer. This would be perfect for us, though. Yes. It does like get to the small stuff. I mean, buddy. I tried to buy one of these three, two years ago from... Uh, from Wine Guards when uh -huh. like oh after COVID, uh -huh. and they they I gave them ten grand down for one and they never even hit me back. Was it a box? They back? gave me my money back because they couldn't get them for like two years. Yeah, now they're stocked four. up on. Now they're stocked. Up. But that was like you know right after ready. you know COVID. Yeah. Shit got crazy. What is it like? Yeah, it did. Have you guys been busy today? Really? Huh? Yeah, I have yeah. one, but it's not like new like that one. It's old. <laughs> A little bit. You guys need. Started selling these. We came full line Wacker dealer like a year ago. Yeah. So. You guys are, they have these right by at United Truck, right by our shop, all these Wacker Nuisance. Where you got them? Uh, Clinton Township. Oh, yeah. Right by 14 and Harper. My shop's on the freeway right there. It's United Trucking. Oh. It's right there. They sell all that shit right out front. Right. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Did you give him one of those papers? Yeah. Right. I saw you looking at that one. So I, I got you. I told my guy to. Actually, told me to give it to you. I got you. Yeah, man. He's got he's got the bag though, so he can put it in there. You want one of these mini ones? Actually? I do. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one this year, but I don't know which one yet. Your big big ones, a little too big. Yeah, but you know we do a lot of handwork, man. Yeah, a lot of small ones. Here's the other good part. Wacker does their own financing. All right. They used to do it. They used to outsource it. Okay. Okay. No, it isn't. It's cheap. These are these are a good price. These are priced good. How much is this? Uh, MSRP is ninety five eighty. Yeah, you, you were right. One. You were close. Yeah. Does yeah. Need a bat There's a battery that sold separate. It actually saves you money by doing it that way. Cause, and then uh, there may be shipping to the dealer too. Okay. Um, so yeah, they, they can quote a final price. Where are you guys out of? Uh, Harrison Township in St. Clair Shores. Okay. Yeah, uh, Outdoor Equipment is one of our dealers. Outdoor. Where's that one? Uh, that right one's, on the, yeah, what? There's, otherwise, there's... Home? Uh, I, 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 think they're, I think they're Macomb. I got there. They're on, like... They're somewhere up that way. I got, I'll look them I've up. I got them, them on the They're out on Van Dyke, I think. So My buddy know. bought one of these, two of these last year. Yeah. No kidding? Yeah, he... Well, no, he bought one, actually. He liked it, though. He beat the crap out of it, but... Don't you make one smaller he liked it. one, too? Yeah, there's a walk behind. Yeah, walk behind. That's the one you got priced, I think. Yeah, that one's like three grand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also Wayne Lawn and Garden, but they're in Canada. I don't know that's a here. Did you see that wheelbarrow over there, Ryan? The wheelbarrow? Yeah, I love that thing, man. That's cool, man. Here, give him give him one. I'll put it in the bag. There's a price list in there, too. What is that, an aerator or a thatcher? That is a brush cutter. It's a flail Oh, shit. That one will do mulching. Take down up to a two-inch sapling. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that's freaking great right cool. old stuff. Oh, yeah, that will eat the crap yeah, out of it. Yeah, they use that for a lot of fun. And you can ride on it, too. Yeah, yeah, that's a separate attachment, that little wheel. Uh, but yes, it's kind of like a tiny little you can grab it, you can pull that pin, and you can uh, disconnect it if you need to. Nice. These are sweet. When I was younger, man, they didn't have nothing like this. <laughs> right. Nothing like this. Yeah, it's pretty slick. Like, there's also a wheeled version too, but uh, the track does a much better job. All right. Oh, you got options. Thanks, for buddy. Tracks for wheels? Uh, on that one, yeah. yes. Yep. Right on. It was the first of its class. So, yeah, a so brush this, cutter right on. Yep. It's okay. got a. So yeah, it does. It does mulch, but it's nowhere near as fine of a mulch as that one. This one goes faster. All and right. It's right on. Um, this one here is our only um, lawnmower. Is this one and this is actually a prototype we're still about a year away what, that from. flips up and down yeah this way you can get through a gate it'll go through like a, oh shit i think the clear is about 33 inches yeah get into your backyard and then you can drop it down and get a 42 inch cut dude that's smart that's fucking smart i didn't even i wasn't even gonna ask him about this thing dude that'd be smart for my lawn crew right here Oh really? Yeah. We'll go look at it. I think it's cool. Yeah, there it is right there. I think it's pretty sweet. Well thanks for showing us, man. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's 73. That would be cool. And they have the flatbed on it too, yeah. you know? Well you can get different ones too. You got a bunch of dumpsters. And you know what I would do too? I'd get the 6.7 of that same truck right there. Turbo diesel. I love that engine. Hey, first thing I do when I'm getting my property, buy a tractor like that. Like that one? Yeah, just to have around it. Because there's so many attachments you can put on this. You're going to get the one that's enclosed? Oh, yeah. So I can pop snow in the winter. That would be nice. On my drive. I didn't know they made tractors. That's pretty sweet. Plus, you can have a mower like this. Oh, a brush hog? Yeah. yeah, you gotta cut all that shit. Yeah. That thing's pretty nice. Yeah, it is. Their, their mowers are pretty good, too. You know, Carl has a bunch of bad boys. Red's Landscaping, the guy who does my, all my contracting for me. All right. Yeah, he so uses bad boys. You wanna go back boys. down that aisle? Yeah, let's go back down that aisle. This one? All right. On this one. But yeah, but you build, those ones are designed to build them first. Right. Hey, see, so you can get a zero truck. That thing is pretty sweet. Um, so basically, here, let me kill that too. I just hit a bu bunch nope. of buttons. Yeah, on yeah, that's okay. It's my not bad. a problem. That's how I learned too. <laughs> <laughs> More buttons you mash, the merrier. Okay, start with the basics. So basically, this is a system that allows us to take the guy that's in the excavation, our great, great man, put him off doing something more productive. You don't need him. Alright. Basically, we. Your job's gone. Yeah, you're I doing just run the machine. You're making, now you're off making money. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I got one too, so I want to see how it works. So sure. basically, uh, through trigonometry, changes in the angles of the elements, we recalculate the cutting edge position at all times, 10 times per second. Okay. Um, basically, we calibrate the system. Um, I can set zero. Say this is zero, and then from here, wherever I go, it tells me how high or low I am in relationship to zero. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, now if I want to dig from here down, because it's a small scale, right. three inches, I can basically come back here to the pencil, tell it, let's dig three inches. All right. And now I'm three inches above. Oh, it tells you where three inches is. It tells you where the depth is. Where we got to dig. You dig to zero, right? Yeah. So I can bench off the ground like I just did here, or I can bench off of a laser. All right. So let's say I got a laser set up operating, I'm doing a basement, I got to dig from some benchmark over here that the engineer set. Right. Tell it out, and maybe the drawing says for lot 27, it's 12 feet down to the bottom of the footing from that spot. I can set my laser up. I have two options. I can either take my grade rod on, this, on that benchmark, 
and I see that I'm five feet above the ground of the benchmark, plus the 12 feet down the bottom of the footing, I can tell the system I want to dig 17 feet down from the laser. All right, so I hit that, tell it what that distance is, turn into the laser, pick it up so it knows where the, I am, and then I dig to zero. And that's pretty nice. That's cool. Mark, that's pretty nice. If I yeah. want to cap the machine over to that spot, put the bucket on the ground, I can tell it I want to dig 12 feet down from here, turn, catch the laser, it calculates then how far down I, and I dig to zero. Oh, dig to zero is the common theme, right? How much yeah. is it? 11,500 for the system. Okay. The, all these sensors outside of the cab are wireless. These, these two are actually the same sensor, just different versions of the same thing. Right. So there's really a, a bucket, a stick, Sensor. And then there's one sensor in the cab, which is this 2D sensor. Okay. So and then this is normally mounted on the window, right? Yeah, great question. Uh, actually, the knee glass just in front of your uh, track controls. Yeah. Uh, so basically, when I'm operating the system, this we put on the side window. Yeah. Right? So instead of having to look here, look here, look here, look here, to know where grades at, we put this in our line of sight out to the bucket. Okay. And basically, I, I can usually define what each of these LEDs represent. I think I've got it just about two inches on this, but you can be a foot, you can be half a foot, whatever you want to set that up to be. All right. We can work feet and inches, decimal feet, whatever, whatever you want. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, yep. cool. You basically use an industrial strength double-sided tape to mount them. I've never had one come off. Okay. And uh, that stays on the machine. Is it a magnet or is it double well, stick? Well, this, this is a magnet for okay. the show. I got you. But normally it's a double-sided right. industrial strength tape. So yeah, you can see where the, the magnets and the bracket are. This top part is the bracket. That's what gets mounted here permanently. All right. Because what, what matters is how this is rotated in relationship to the audience. I like it. And that's what the calibration figures out. But he said, the new Salter that... Yeah, that has blind yeah. hand. And it has a computer generator hooked to it, and it tells like what to put down on oh, each yeah, parking yeah. lot. Do that. But yeah, that thing's nice right there. I like that. I'll let you know. What? Can I get a card real quick? Yeah. One sec. Watch out. I want to take a video of this. Thing is a beast. There's Kyle. <laughs> Dude, look at that thing. Oh, is it? Look at all the glass on here. On on my John Deere, that you can't see like all below that because it's all metal. Yeah, look at this lamp. That's tight. Yeah. You should hop. Tell me if this thing's tighter than your deer. Yeah, I'm going to hop in. Dude, those windows are badass, though. It feels very tight. Want to hold that thing for him? Yeah. It feels a little tight, doesn't it? It's a little tight. Smells good. Yeah, it smells I like love that new seat. smell. Does it feel a little tight in there, though? I think it's these. Maybe because the metal cages aren't there to give you a I do like the all glass box though. Dude, that, I, but if, so, uh, is this like bulletproof? Hey, this water tank kind of blocks your view. No. I could sit back here and still see the whole bucket. That's good. Hey, you think these will break if something hits them? The glass? Yeah. I mean, any glass is going to break if it hits it. I wonder how much the bulletproof glass is for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> And it's got a screen. Right. Oh, this one? Did you notice that that one has glass windows that like go all the way down to here though? This, go look at it here. Go look at it, you'll see it. That one has a lot more room. That one's a friggin' monster cab. Yeah, these are. But when you're doing that. That four screen monster though? Those things, you can mulch, you can mulch anything. You can turn the like six inch tree into mulch. You got a lot of woods on that property? Those bitches are pretty sweet. I mean, here's your favorite trailer. Dude, yeah, that was a lot higher than Sky Trail. 
You know the tracks go in and out on those, so yeah, you can fit them in the backyard. It's the same one as yours, ain't it? It's shorter. Is it? Yours is 16, ain't it? Yeah. Is this a 14? It's got nicer, looks way shinier. <laughs> I got a cloth. Yeah, that one's nice. Damn. Oh, that's a nice box, too. So you see the new, uh, my parents' snowmobile trailer we got there? Yeah. It's just like Does this. Does it smell good like this one? Uh, it did. Now it just smells like snowmobiles. Now it smells like snowmobiles. Oh, from the gas? Yeah. Oh, look at this little... It's a weed whip holder. Yeah, it's nice. Made out of, like, uh, looks like it's, uh... It looks like a, like a little bucket they made. This is how we're gonna set up our trailer this year, Ryan. Mm -hmm. I could pick up some balls with that thing. <laughs> big, that one's big. This one you can put on trailer. Yeah, this one would go right on like Burns land. All the seed. Good, how are you? Are these uh, for sod? Are those uh, uh, sod pegs? Don't they, they usually are, are just uh, V-shaped, kind of they go like this and just straight up and they're flat across the top. They're just uh -huh. kind of wedge shaped. These are for uh, erosion control blankets, so this peg catches like that netting. Oh, okay. You pound it down, that that'll hold that. This is for like if you had like sandy soil. Um, where this stuff wouldn't hold very good because the ground's too loose, you get a longer stake. I got you. And pound it in. And then these wood ones are good because the wider it is, the more friction there is. Okay. But M dot this is what they use for the M dot on the road. They have to use these. They can't use the. I metal. got you. What is this? That one used it's for? A, it, uh, inlet protection for a, a drain, storm drain, in like a in the parking lot. Oh, so you put, put, put it over there. Yeah, there. keep all the sediment and stuff out of the. Oh, water. I know what you're talking It's over the top of a drain and yep, stuff. Yeah, inlet protection. Nice. Okay. That's cool. There's a full-size one back over there. That's just a sample. There's different kinds of... This stuff is the sheer stress strength. This will stand up to... Uh, have you seen those uh, pavers where they hook them together in, uh, in uh, synthetic fiber? And there's like... They're little... They look like little, I don't know... Balls of concrete about this big. There's one here, one here, one here. Yeah. You put them for down channel slopes, like on the expressway oh, yeah. and stuff. I got gotcha. you. So okay. So this will replace that. So instead of having that stuff that kind of looks kind of ugly, you can put this stuff that's kind of green, and then you can actually get the grass to grow through it too. But it will stand up the same sheer strength as uh, as that stuff. Oh man, that's pretty cool. So this is like more more freeway side of road stuff. That would be for a same like a, a, a bottom of a high ditch flow area or yeah like oh where water flows through really fast yeah channelized flow. I got you. Okay, that's cool. So how much does it take? Like if you're hydro scenario, how much money is it to buy all the lines and everything? Uh, I'm trying to think how to answer that question. So. Well, it's like the, the price per barrel. So, like, if you were to mix a load and squirt it on, the products inside the tank would be probably somewhere between sixteen and uh, uh, twenty-five cents a square yard. Square yard. Okay. So, like, a bale of hydromulch is like twenty bucks. And, and that does what a thousand? Fifteen hundred pounds of that to a two thousand, depending on which kind you use for an acre. And then the seed, you would use. 250 pounds an acre, and that's going to cost you, you know, depending on again, what kind you use, $215, uh, $3 a pound, $1.50 a pound. So $250 time. times three, basically, and then then the, the, the other mix you said would be like an acre, so that'd be like 1500 bucks about for an acre? And then a little bit of fertilizer, which is about $20 or a couple Mix that in there. So, so, so two grand for an acre to so Two grand, yeah. So, so by that, so, by 48 40 I think. Say we filled this up, how much do you think that would cost to like do a cheaper blend, like the cheap, cheapest blend you got, to fill it up with all the stuff that we need to grow something? So that'll hold, uh, you can put eight bales of hydromulch in there, because it's 800 gallon machine, so for every... Uh, how much is a bag of hydromulch? 
20 bucks for the general. Okay, 20 bucks a bag. All right, and then how much is the seed that you'd have to put in there to mix so with if it? If you put in, uh, for that size machine, you would put in a bag and a half, you know, so. How much is that? 75 pounds times. Uh, $3 a if you, pound? That would be a high number, yeah. All right, so that's a higher number. So three times 75, 150, 225. And then what's what else? Fertilizer, you said? And then your fertilizer, you'd only put a bag in that tank, so that'd be another 20 bucks. Say. Okay, so 20. So, all right. That's but, what I was looking for. Only at, but now you're only at a... You, oh, yeah. you got to do that four times, you know, or five times. You have to, to spray... Do acre, to do an acre. Spray it's over it? Like spray over it four times? Or no, no, spray to it cover a whole time? acre, you, gotta you have to load the machine. The Oh, I got you're you. not going to get a whole acre out of that amount of material. I got you. Okay, I get so what you're the, saying. For the okay. whole job site, you know, you'd put down like two thousand pounds of hydromulch or thirty bales. All know? right. So, this thing filled up to do an acre would take four of these tanks at what we were just yes, talking about. Four, four to five. That okay. One would take ten to thirteen to do an acre. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. All right. I get it now. That's only a three hundred gallon. Yeah. yeah. All right. And this is a. This is eight hundred gallon. Eight hundred. They call it eight hundred. It's actually nine fifty. Yeah, that's a nice trailer, man. Bale chopper on it. Could you shoot hay out of this too? Like, does oh, it got a hay blower on it? Remote. Okay. Can I go up? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, that thing's nice. You, what do you guys powder coat it? It's got a nice paint job. Uh, I don't make them. They make them down in Bowie, Texas. But yeah, they do have a paint mold. I don't know. I don't think it's powder coated though. Looks nice. Looks strong. They, 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 they epoxy the inside, and then they have this is paint. Yeah, they do a good job of it. They bought a brand new paint booth last year. How long have you guys been in business for? The, the, They've been making these for over 60 years. Yeah, I thought 65 so. 65 years. Since I started coming here, you guys, like, when I was, like, 16, I'm 36 now. And you guys were here 20 years ago, I think, oh, when yeah, I came here. Oh, yeah, that was some other owners of the business, but, yeah, the other distributors. I got gotcha. you. Phil Faber used to bring them here a lot. He sold the business over 24 years ago, and then I just bought it from the guy who owned it for the last 20 years. Okay, so you're the owner of these. I, I own the distributorship for Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana. Oh, nice. They're built down in Bowie, Texas. I don't own the Bowie. Okay. But, I, I but you're the contract where they want us to hide the seat after we're done. Oh, okay. So, do you guys rent units like this? Or? No, I do have that used one for sale over there, and that little flyer right there. Thank you. This one? Oop, sorry. That's all right. You see that right there? 35,000. Not bad. Oh. Nice little. It's the same thing as that on well, the back of the truck. That's actually bigger. That's a 1,500 gallon. So you'd only need two of those for to do a whole acre. This one has a bale conveyor on the back, too. You put the bale on this thing, there's an electric motor, and it pulls it, drives the bale up to the top. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, these are like usually anymore. This was kind of back before skid steers were so popular. Yeah, what do you just put the pallet? Yeah, up now pallets? now people generally would just open the door up here and bring a pallet up and load it down. Oh, I see that door it's, opens. Yeah, the gate opens there. Then then, uh, but these guys, this was actually set up for an outfit in Canada, and they had a trailer behind with all their mulch on it, so they would just take oh, it off the trailer and throw it Feed on it there, in and there. They could keep they keep, keep moving. Throwing it. Yeah, yeah. I got you. that's nice. That's, that's nice. cool. Just stop, mix a load, and then keep shooting. So this is a, a no really hydromulch, or you can find a run, really. Oh, you can. There's people around them. Yeah, they have easy. The problem is typically that like somebody else has them run it out when you want it. Dude, the first Dixie Chopper I bought was very old. It was new, but it would have, like, the sticks out. That thing's sweet. Yeah, Jerry Pan out. Pop another Jerry Pan in. And Dixie Chopper, they're not. No, they're not. No. Hustlers faster than Dixie Chopper. Really? Oh, yeah. Is it this size? No, it's a 30 inch mold board, 8 foot wide on the mold board. So this is a 91536, so it's going to be 6 inches shorter and 8 foot mold board with a little bit less weight. Alright. And then it goes back and turns left and right, and these yeah. go out and back and forth. Yeah, that mold screw over there will actually show you all the different configurations, but yeah, anything you can How long is it when you open it up? Well, this one right here is 15, that other one I was talking about would be 13. 13, okay. Yeah, I got a couple big apartment complexes I do, but I have a skidster that sits there. I was going to buy a, 
a plow that like turns like this to do all the roads and all the pull all the parking lots because it's like a hundred acre site and uh, I didn't end up buying one this year. Good thing I did. It didn't snow that much, but we did it with trucks and shit. But next year I want to get something like this. This is nice. Yeah, I have two. I have two eight thirty fourteens that are standard edge. Okay. Cooper's Mill location. What standard edge doesn't have these like that on it? Mm, yeah, it's just gonna be uh, one edge. It's just gonna be an AR four hundred uh, dual edge and a trip. Right. It's, it's a solid edge trip. And then the wings are a little bit, so the wings will float. They're going to look more like the live box. They won't have the trips spring wing. Okay, so but they still will do all those functions. They still do all the functions. Well, picture right here, this is standard edge. All right. So solid piece trips. Okay. You still get the wings. You still have float this way on the wings, but this is the HD live edge. So it actually trips, floats, and it's got a built-in curb guard. How much more is it to get that plow right there with the multiple edges that like function with the well, ground. Well that one right there we're at 25.6. So that it's like three grand more, two grand more. So that 83014 standard I've got at 13.9. Okay. And that 830.13 live I've got at 22 grand. So seven, oh, so grand, seven like, grand. Uh well nine grand. Nine grand. Yeah. Okay. But right. there's a there's a lot more moving parts and it is And you got a lot of different models too. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, a, it's a big it. cost to swallow up front, but your ROI, you'll return your investment in the first season. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely with this. Yeah. Yeah, that job will do it for sure. Well, thank you. You have a good one. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. One dealer in the whole state. Really? I can see. Oh, this is ready, bro. Yeah. These are tight. I'm gonna try to it's sell some of these this year. Yeah, you just. Man, the only thing is that the yeah, pretty nice. Up. I'm gonna take a video real quick. So. I've seen them though. I've seen other people that did videos with these before. Or you'll see the. Left side here is undeveloped, but it's all the same now. You own it? I own a few other people, yeah. Uh, how many acres is that? About 20. 20? You guys it's got storable, a lot of people there? It's it's a little less than that because of offsets and whatnot. But. What do you, so you can build a fence in there around your stuff? Yeah, so all these units are fenced in, these ones also. All of these are actually taken now. We have, uh, these six I know are open. Are you allowed to build a garage on there or just park? Um, no, I would I would let you build a garage on there if you want to. Okay. Um, I would have to go to the city and make sure everything's okay, but as long as they're okay with it, I'm good to you. go. But, uh, and then you can put a semi-truck there, storage, Yeah, well, that's mainly, whatever. mainly what we're doing right now. All these are semis. We got RVs are pretty common too, so we have 12 by 40 and 12 by 75 faces for them. And uh, those are our more consistent customers, our RVs and semis. I got you. Because this is what I do. This is nice too. It's a model. Copper? That's pretty cool. And it's a stand on too. That's a log picker up here. Where's the window up top? Yeah, these are not uh, top fixies on the Close it real quick. Oh, I see. That's nice. That's way better than mine. A lot of people like them because they can work with the door open. Right? You can work with the open or closed. Yeah. What is that? Lock it in? Yeah. You know how yours has a lap bar? Yeah. Lock yeah, that. I like these better. Cat has these too. Because the one bar, like if you fall, you can fall out the side of it on that one. Well, is it? Yeah. yeah, that's not that big of a deal. But I just like this. Dude. I, you haven't tipped a tractor yet. I tipped mine. 
And I'm all over the internet for that shit. I didn't even have a lap bar when that happened. All my shit spilled. I freaking fell into the window. My face like was like, yeah, right in the window. And then I jumped out. It's got a big screen on it. Oh, it's down there too. Does that come up? Hey, look, it's got the windows too. Really. It's got like the big windows in this bitch too. Yeah, this thing's nice. I don't know. A lot of people say Kubota's have a lot of um, the joysticks have a lot of lag to them. So you like be going forward, you'll let go. And then I'll go for a second and then stop. Oh, it doesn't do it exactly not, right when? Yeah. That's not like good. Deer, what is that, the windshield wiper fluid down there? Why do they yeah. keep putting it inside the them? The is the only one that does that, I think. Deer does it too, don't they? No. Deer's at? Mine's in the back. Kubota's used to be back here. What was that tractor we were at? Yanmar. That was the one I got in. You said, yeah, see if that hits you. Glass. Yeah. This, this That's got a weird. big cap. I just... I really like this, so on mine... This part shakes so bad. Dude, I was gonna tell you, you might have a bad idle. That's why it shakes so hard on the one side. All those little wheels, you gotta lift up the side of the machine or just you know put blocks under the back and roll the bucket. And you can touch the wheels. If they don't spin or they go up and down and have movement, they're bad, you gotta change them. Okay. That might be why it vibrates. Our old cat excavator had bad ones. When we track it, it would shake really hard. Because okay. Had so much Cause yeah, time. sometimes when I go to move it, the right will stick a little bit and then it will start going. Yeah. That's so what it is. you might have some bad idlers. I haven't greased it either since I bought it. It's been bit. sitting in a salt salt bin oh, for, for three months. Oh, damn. Right up front. And it's got a screen right there. That's probably uh, a camera. Yeah, it's probably a backup cam. Or that's to turn... It's probably... Yeah, it shows you your salt spread probably. Yeah. Probably. What? Holy shit, dude. How yeah, this is to control the blower. How many freaking things do they have on this thing? Those are all your different auxiliaries. Like, one of these probably to turn the chute. I really I like the, feel like I'm operating an airplane right now. <laughs> I know. God, I, I kind of like the little joystick. I know. that. It's not too big or, you know, yeah, like, so you, you could just, just, like, put, and it's tight, too. Yeah, like, for plowing, it gets it's more comfortable to have that. Fuck yeah, Because I think you can just put a plow on it, too. Oh, a plow or a, or a snowblower. Oh, snowblower. This is for big sidewalks in Canada. Like, oh, yeah. But this thing, snow. if you could just put a plow on this thing, imagine having this along with the salt spreader. Man, oh, you didn't It's got a dumper. It's got the dump and it dumps into the spreader so you can have stop. Oh, you can fill it up and fill it as you go. Dude, that's smart. That's cool. That is cool. Multi-hog. This thing dumps. Hey, and then look, there's a flatbed under it. What? Yeah, it's got a cruise control. So you can just cruise control? So when you plow in, you can just click the button and then... That's so funny. That's actually really cool. I like this. I like this joystick a lot. It's got good, very good visibility. Oh, yeah. You can see every... Well, the wheels are under me, aren't they? Yeah, the front There's wheels are under right me. Right under you. That'd probably be weird when you first start driving it. Yeah. Because, you know, you turn and the back like turns. This, I like how it yeah, that is pretty nice. How many? There's 25 switches right there. What's that little thing right there that turned the knob that turns? This? Yeah. This goes between it's a hammer and a road, so I'm guessing one's for rough terrain, one's for just normal roads. Oh, man. This is your gear selector. Is that the throttle? This is. Damn. This is your gear selector. Like? Forward and backwards. Oh, damn. You can That's do it nice. there or here. Where's the throttle? By your foot? Yeah, there's a brake and a gas. What's this? Dude. <laughs> hey, look at You can control something with your foot over here. What the like hell is it? Oh, I bet you that's for the snowblower head. Like, you can Maybe. put it up and down with your foot. Better. It's a, well, I would imagine it's this. Right? It's the same thing, right? Yeah. The I handle? Mean, these are probably to control, like, your... This is to control your hydraulics, so probably up and down. It's got heat right in front of you, too, to blow on your balls <laughs> if you're cold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's got a radio. It's got... Need AC in this thing for. Oh my this God. is like a winter only machine. Yeah, I bet this is all of 150 grand. Probably. The keys are in the back. <laughs> Every day, all day. And this thing? Look at the lights. You see the lights on the front? It's got a bunch of strobes. Yeah. Here, probably. 
Oh yeah, those things are probably. Then it's got. I mean, this thing, this thing is probably expensive once you wear it down, though. Like, you gotta oh, put fix, yeah. new I grinders. Like Dump it and it dumps yep. it in the spreader. You think that you could put sides on this too to make it taller, probably, and dump like way more. That's super oh, yeah. small though. Multi purpose tractors. Oh, look, you can put a sweeper on the front. Oh, wow. And it, and it sucks vacuum. it up. Yeah, vacuum. And then on that the thing hooks on the back of it. Yeah, so you can, the beds are interchangeable. Look how big that salter is. Yeah. That's so the, nice. that means the beds are interchangeable. Yep. You can, you can take them out and put them back in. Yeah. That's neat. And they come in orange. You can get them in any color. The one was white. Dude, that thing's pretty sweet, though. I like this mulch meal. Yeah, if you do a lot of mulch, this would make you a lot of money. 15 cubic guard aluminum hopper with quick discharge. Well, doesn't it fluff it, too? Yeah, yeah, it does. It makes it, like... Yeah, more material out of nothing. Yeah. That's pretty tight. 